Prototyping 3B Pi The 3 Branch Pi First Contact Hi, this is Jordi Benefa at electronics.cat This is the first video of 3B Pi The 3 Branch Pi It is a word thought to be connected on GPIO's Raspberry Pi This name is because you are able to connect three different branches, three different buses. For instance, this is a test board that can be set as input or output through these jumpers. As input there is a micro switch and as output there is these LEDs. You can use this connector or this other one. If you want, you can use a board of relays like this. Here there is a bus with 8 bits. The lower level is for these 4 relays and you can connect another 4 relays from this connector. In this case there is connected a board of inputs. It could be go here or here. And one of these ports is thought to be used as I2C. This board is an I2C board. You can get info set or get information from other boards. Go here and you can connect up to four I2C boards in daisy chain. The third connector is thought to be used as asynchronous communication. This is the regular DB9 used for RS232. This is a converter to USB. And this other is a regular 8-bit microcontroller. You can communicate using this. 3 bit Pi is a word that translates 3.3 volts levels from GPIO in the Raspberry Pi to 5 volts in a bidirectional way. You have some jumpers just to say if you want the asynchronous communication as master or a slave and there is some share pins and for this reason there are these jumpers here. Today we are about to see how to control this port, port number 4. Everything from scratch. Let's go. This is the schematic of the 3 Pi board. At the left we can see the GPIO Raspberry Pi connector and at the right, at the top, there is the asynchronous communication and the other two connectors are the general purpose and at the bottom there is the I2C and SPI connections. Now we are about to see inside every of these squares. In every square of the previous schematic there are these other four sets. And in every set there is this schematic. This is a bidirectional translator from levels of 3.3 to 5 volts. To set up port number 4 of 3B Pi as an output control, we can write this set of commands on the console of your Raspberry Pi. First, we download the raw code from electronics.cat. Next, we compile the C code and we get an executable file called P4V2. 
because it works on the second version of Raspberry Pi, that with two holes. Next, we change owner and group to root, and we add set UID bit to be executable for any user, not using sudo. At last, we move the file to slash user slash bin. Then, p4v2 is able to be used as a new command. If you can't use GCC, maybe you don't have installed Build Essential Package. You can do that using apt-get. Writing p4v2, we get a help. We can set any byte, writing p4v2, 1 to bit 7. We can reset it, writing 0. Or, for instance, we want a 1 to bit 1. And even we can, we can write in decimal numbers, for instance, this is number 128 or 127, or even in hexadecimal format 0f and f0 or a5 or 5a. And now we can reset all writing zero. Soon will be more videos about 3D Pi. Thanks for watching.